Coming up on the Globe Sports Corner, another woman qualifies for nationals. Benjamin Cotton talks to Alex Childers about the upcoming baseball season, and Jessica Bochtel gives her thoughts about the softball team. All that is coming up on the Globe Sports Corner. Welcome back to another episode of the Globe Sports Corner. I'm Tanner Camp. The Goshen College track and field team has already sent a couple of their athletes to the Indoor National Championship. Well, this past weekend, Suzette Rodriguez punched her ticket to nationals with her performance in the weight throw. William Troyer with more on the story. Goshen City native and now Goshen College junior thrower Suzette Rodriguez is looking to cap off a record-setting season as the Indoor Crossroads League Championships are set to begin this weekend. In her last time competing, Rodriguez broke her own school record. However, Rodriguez is not satisfied with her record and wants to continue to improve on it. It felt natural, to be honest, because I feel like even though I broke the school record, I still didn't meet my personal best. So I feel like there's definitely a lot more in the tank. Breaking the record is impressive in and of itself, but doing it without a coach is even more of an accomplishment. Well, it was really hard in the beginning because I relied on him so much for just advice and especially during meets, I would always go up to him while I'm warming up because I tend to get very nervous and he's just always there to give me a little piece of advice so I can just calm down and relax and everything. So not having him did affect me a little bit in the beginning, but I found another way to stay calm and just stay focused, so it's fine. With the indoor championships just around the corner, Rodriguez has one goal in mind. So my main goal would be to place first. I feel like there might be a little bit of pressure, but nothing I can't handle. Cause I mean, I got first place last year. So I feel like a lot of people are expecting me to place the same, especially cause I'm seated first in conference. But I do want to break the record again. Hopefully the conference record going hand in hand with that, my personal record and placing first. Reporting for Globe Sports, my name is William Troyer. Rodriguez will look to have a big performance this upcoming weekend as the team competes in the Crossroads League Championship at Indiana Wesleyan. When we come back, Benjamin will talk some Maple Leaf baseball with Coach Childers. That's coming up on the Globe Sports Corner. Goshen students enjoy an amazing record of success. What's the secret? It starts with hands-on learning experiences. Whether it's a service project in Peru, a sustainability semester at our environmental learning center, or broadcasting for our award-winning radio station, it adds up to life-changing perspectives and real-world skill development that makes a difference to future employers. And it's all available at a campus that makes everyone feel at home. Come hang out with us and see for yourself. Schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu visit. Welcome back to the Glow Sports Corner. I'm Benjamin Cotton, and to my left, I'm with Alex Childers, the head coach of the Goshen College men's baseball team. Coach, thank you for coming down. You know, we're about a month into preseason. Uh, what are you thinking so far before this first game? I mean, I think our guys are just excited to get out and play some baseball. You know, we've been training inside for the past month. Obviously, in the north, weather kind of dictates where and when we can practice, and our guys are just excited to get out on the field and start playing some competition. Yeah, and to touch up on that, you just mentioned the weather, and you have a couple, Cal, you have a Cali guy, got some Texas guys on your team. So, like, when you're talking to them, like, during that recruiting process, or even when they get here, like, like what's, like, some adjustments you can help them make to make it easier for them? I mean, there's no real way to, like, yeah. like, like practice, hey, it's cold where we play. But I think the overarching thing is, like, guys just want to play. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, you know, they come up from Texas. I mean, they still want to get out on the baseball field. And once the juices get flowing, whether it's 40 degrees outside or 80 degrees outside, it's still baseball. Yeah, you know. definitely. And so uh, y'all been lifting, practicing. Also added a new lifting coach, same yeah, as a men's yeah, basketball yeah. team. You have Coach B. Can you tell me about a little bit about him? How he's been uh, impacting your team? I mean, I just think some of the energy that he brings. I mean, our guys have really done a good job of buying into the program, the weightlifting program. And I think when they see those gains on the uh, on the baseball field or in the weight room and see how it translates to the baseball field, I, I think it's done wonders for us. Um, and just that buy-in, that little flavor that they add to practice has been huge for the program. And, Coach, you have a lot of new seniors now. You lost Quentin Strubble last year. How has mm -hmm. the seniors really filled in the role? I mean, we have – I mean, even though, you know, the loss of uh, Clinton and, and, and Kyle Kotecki last year, big losses, but we got a lot of guys that have played for 
um, for four years, and some guys that were intending to really contribute both on the mound uh, and at the plate positionally. Uh, so it's got a little bit of a different feel to the team. You know, I think every every team kind of takes on a different personality, their own personality. Uh, it's a little bit different team, but I mean, our guys have really got after it. Um, we trained hard, and we're just ready to kind of hit the ground running. Yeah, you've been here for eight years now, coaching the Maple Leafs, and. Um, what are some things that you noticed? Like, first off, like your coaching experience, some adjustments that you made as a coach yourself, and also just some specific things for this team. Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, I think, you know, hopefully, just like we want our players to progress and get better year one, year two, year three. You know, from a coaching standpoint, it's the same thing, right? Like, I try to get better each year. There's been some changes, you know, in terms of what we've done training-wise and things that, you know, have helped I think get us more competitive. Um, I think this team's going to be a little bit different. We're athletic in a lot of spots. Um, we might not have quite the doubles pop on paper that we've had in the past. Um, but, man, we got some, some guys that can run it down. I think it'll be exciting. You know, hopefully we steal a few more bases this year, something that we haven't always done from a coaching philosophical standpoint in the past. I think we're going to run a little bit. Um, you might see a little bit of a small game. And I think our pitching, just the experience that we have on the mound, uh, coming back is going to keep us in some ball games. And we're just going to have to get creative with how we score runs. Uh, and I think our coaching staff's done a really good job of uh, coaching and prepping guys up to kind of handle handle the bat and handle the game a little bit differently than maybe we have in the past. Yeah, definitely. And last year you finished fourth in the Crossroads League. I know it's a long way down the road, but like, do you have like any like certain matchups you think during the season that that they can just help prep you for the conference? Yeah, I mean that's a good question. I mean uh, the Crossroads League is always just kind of a gauntlet. I, I don't think we get the national recognition that, that uh, some other Southern conferences get. Um, but I mean, you look at you know Taylor's one. Then early on, they went out west and beat a couple ranked teams. Bethel, you know, played some fall countable games, started 11 and 0. There's some good teams in the conference. And if you look at what we did last year, you know, we had a three game sweep of a good team like Taylor, and we also got swept in a three-game set by a team that finished outside the playoffs. I think if we want to attain some of the goals that we set out early on to attain, it, it, it's that consistency. Like we got to be good every weekend when we strap it on against conference teams. Like, like it, it has to be one of those things where we bring it every single day, win the majority of your series, um, and you know, kind of see where the chips fall where they, they may at the end. But the conference brings a lot back. I mean, there's some pitching back. There's some teams that can swing it. I mean, we're just excited to, to go out there every weekend and compete against them. Yeah, and last question. You really have, like, a bunch of energetic guys on this team. Uh, is there, like, something that you like to do in practice that, that kind of keeps their energy levels going up or something? Like, like what is it about you that gets your guys going? I mean, I think, like, and I honestly mean this, I think, you know, in the recruiting process when you're trying to bring guys in, one of the biggest things is finding guys that love their sport. And, and, and I mean, you know, we had a uh, – last week there was a good uh, – Good weather Monday, and the guys came out. You know, and we were scheduled to practice at eight o'clock at night. So now we're gonna leave it at eight o'clock. So, well, you know, can we just get out on the field? Like our guys literally had a players-only practice at four o'clock outside just because they love baseball. And I think when you get guys that honestly love their sport, like you get better results. Like the training. You know, we talk like I don't have to go to practice. I get the opportunity to go to practice, and I think our guys are bought into that. Um, and man, when it's fun being around it makes a world of difference, you know, and then when it becomes enjoyable, when it's fun versus just a task or something I have to do. I think that, that that's all them. That's nothing special the coaches do. The guys just love the game and uh, like supporting each other. All right. Well, thank you, Coach, for coming down. I had a great talk with you. And when we return, Jessica Bachtel will talk about the softball season. That's coming up on the Globe Sports Corner. the best college radio station in the nation. It's not New York City or Chicago, it's Goshen College. Our broadcasting program is just one of Goshen's 35 outstanding majors. At Goshen College, you will work one-on-one -on -one with top professionals and get studio time in your first semester. You can call a game from the playing field or broadcast from a downtown radio studio. How do I know Goshen was the best choice? Right after graduation, I'll start my new job as a radio morning show co-host. Take the next step in your broadcasting career. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. To my left, I'm with Jessica Bachtel, sophomore for the Goshen College softball team. Jessica, thank you for coming down. So, last year you were able to win freshman of the year of all Maple Leaf Athletics. Can you talk about how it, feel, how it felt to win that and also how that feels your training? Um, 
Well, I was so excited when I won because I was not expecting that at all, and I didn't even, I was, I was just not prepared. And I think it's motivating me this season just because, like, I don't want to rest on what I did last season, and I want to do better this coming season because I want to prove to everyone why I deserved to get that award. And last year, I went to the conference tournament since 2013. Uh, what was so special about that team? And what's something that you hope you can bring back to this year? Um, something that was really special about that last team was that we were all a family. And I think that's what, um, in the end, pushed us to do good or to be better than all in, the, in the years past because we had such a tight bond. And with this new coach, with Coach P, being her first year it was just like you know we were all in and it's just it was our time to shine and you've already played four games so far uh, what are some little things you notice that can that you can work on to help uh, build a team together for the conference tournament um one thing that like we've noticed while playing the past four games was that our hitting is probably not the greatest as it should be for as much as we work on it but i think that we all have really strong hitters or we all are really strong hitters. Um, we just need to tie them together to, you know, tie them together and hit bombs. <laughs> yeah, and so, so so let's talk about practice. Then you talking about you need to work on the hidden. So what's uh, like, so what's the work that there? So like just working with other teammates outside of practice, trying to like just working off the tee or something like that. Can you just talk about the the practice regime? Yeah. So uh, basically, two or three times a week we have. A uh, full-blown two-hour hitting practice and usually our coach has individuals as well but one of the main goals this season that we as a team came up with was to hit two or three times outside of the normal practice just to get yourself better and to get ahead. And you have Catherine Boyer as one of your senior captains. Can you just talk about her leadership and what it means to you and maybe just the team too? Oh we love KB. She is so nice and she's just a great leader and I I think that she's really going to lead us in the right direction this year because last year she was a leadership role, but now it's like she's the oldest and, um, you know, she's a starter and everyone looks up to her. So I really do think that um, she's probably one of like the greatest people to have as a captain this year. And final question, your, your uh, season's already started. What's the thing you're looking forward to the most just now you're just already like on the road, started moving? I'm so excited to just like just play all the time because, you know, back at home I played year round and now it's like you can't really play because of the weather all the time. But now that we're back on the field, I'm just so excited to just play like every day, like just play the sport that you love is just the greatest thing. And um, being with my team and playing with the people that I like being around is an awesome feeling. So I'm just really excited to get out there. <laughs> Yeah, and you mentioned the weather. Uh, I was talking to Alex Childers about that, too, talking about his recruiting process. So you're from California. Can you talk about how it is from having that all-year training to really just, like, being an indoors trainer now here in Indiana where, like, cold weather? Yeah, so back at home, it's sunny all the time, and I do think that's why we have so many girls on our team that are from California is because um, our skills are developed more, I guess you could say, because we play all the time. And now that we're indoors, it's a little bit challenging just because I've never really taken, you know, ground balls on a gym floor or anything like that. And um, just being inside all the time kind of feels really, we feel kind of trapped. <laughs> but um, I think when we get out on the field, that's like going to, you know, work in advantage for us just because like we can't wait to get out there. Yeah. Jessica Bakul, thank you for coming down, for taking your time here. And when we return, Tanner Camp. We'll give you a look at the Maple Leaf schedule that's coming up on the Glow Sports Corner. Goshen College students enjoy an amazing success record, and we have some impressive numbers to prove it. But stories of our graduates say even more, like developing a breakthrough antiviral drug for HIV AIDS, writing number one hits, being named one of Time Magazine's most influential people in the world for cancer research, and enjoying a broadcast career right out of college. They all started with a real world education on a campus that makes everyone feel at home. See how the numbers add up and schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu slash visit.
Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. Let's take a look at your Maple Leafs in action this week. The track and field team will compete in the Crossroads League Championship at Indiana Wesleyan. The men's volleyball team will be at home on Friday, taking on Siena Heights University. The baseball team is on the road in West Virginia this weekend for doubleheaders on Saturday and Sunday. And finally, the men's and women's basketball teams will celebrate Senior Day on Saturday at home taking on Marion University. That's going to wrap up another episode of the Globe Sports Corner. Be sure to check us out on social media at 91.1 The Globe. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at 91.1 The Globe. And visit our website at globeradio.org. We'll see you next time on the Globe Sports Corner.